Use the one win rule whenever you try something new. Before we start with the video, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So please subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind. Juggling has changed my life. Not because I've always wanted to become a circus clown, but because it has significantly improved my productivity at work. The repetitive up and down of colorful balls is perfect to relax and refocus during breaks. It's engaging enough to keep my mind from ruminating, yet doesn't take up too much mental capacity. But it wasn't always this way. When I started, my balls were all over the place. One even got lost in my friend's handbag for weeks. As the saying goes, the first step is always the hardest. Learning new things often gives you tremendous benefits after you have mastered the basics. Working out and following a balanced diet for a few months gifts you a sexy body. Meditation brings you mindfulness and calmness to your life if you do it regularly. And speaking a new language lets you talk to people you otherwise couldn't. But all this only happens if you make it through the initial hardships, which often isn't easy. When the workout gets too hard, the meditation too boring or the grammar too complex you ask yourself, is this even worth it? Eventually you give up, falling short of your dreams. Wouldn't it be nice if you could make it through the struggles? The one win rule helps you push yourself further and get the results you want. This is why you shouldn't give up too soon. The one win rule is as simple as powerful. Book your first win before you quit. When I juggled, I was determined to make it through three consecutive cycles in a row, a total of nine throws, which sounds easier than it is. Once you have got your first win, your perspective changes. First, you get a taste of success. Without experiencing a result, you can't accurately judge if something's worth your time. Second, you will have a good memory to look back to. Even if you quit now, you can always remember your endeavors as something you have accomplished instead of something you gave up on. Third, small wins keep you going. Research shows positive experiences lead to dopamine release, a hormone that keeps you going and suppresses norepinephrine, which makes you want to quit. When you try something new, sticking with it until your first real win is the only sensible thing to do. Here are three steps that help you book it. Find your Goldilocks goal. The best children's stories carry lessons applicable for adults as well, such as the tale of Goldilocks. Goldilocks is your typical rebel child, a girl who doesn't listen to her parents and wanders off into the forest where she finds a lonely hut. If this was in Germany, there would have been at least two locks and a sign saying private property, keep out. But thankfully, wherever Goldilocks lives, people are more hospitable. When she enters the hut, she finds three bowls of porridge on a table. One too hot, one too cold, but the third one with just the right temperature. Filling your belly with someone else's food makes you sleepy. So she goes to the bedroom. Similar to the temperature of the porridge bowls, one bed is too hard, the other too soft, but the third one just right. The Goldilocks rule states, humans experience peak motivation when they face a challenge that's neither too hard nor too easy. When I was in second grade, I was ahead of the class and bored to death by our math exercises. I lost all motivation and stopped doing them altogether. But when I got into university and our financial engineering professor wrote down a differential equation spanning two blackboards and featuring a whole gang of Greek letters, it was lights out for me as well. The right goal is neither too hard nor too easy. Keep this in mind when you think about what counts as a win for you. Set a goal that proves a serious challenge but isn't completely unreasonable. Harness the power of the internet. Did you know that there's a YouTube video titled How to touch a wall with an apple? It's exactly what you expect. In the comments, someone asks if this also works with a red apple. Shortly after, a helpful member of the community uploaded a quick tutorial on how to touch a wall with a red apple. Apart from being utterly pointless, this teaches you two important lessons. First, people are bored beyond belief. Second, there's a tutorial for everything. There are even how-tos for making a nuclear bomb. And if you can dig up these, you will definitely be able to find someone showing you how to play a C chord on a conventional guitar. 
Want to level up your cooking skills? Let Jamie Oliver show you how to chop garlic. Want to get into painting? Let Bob Ross show you how to hold a brush right. Want to learn how to build a rocket ship and launch it into space? The Massachusetts Institute of Technology uploaded all its courses and video lectures on its website, including the one on aerospace engineering. A quick Google search will save you tons of rookie mistakes and give you a solid plan of action. When I studied Spanish, I found a 20 episode series aimed at beginners on YouTube, complete with subtitles, an engaging community and actors speaking slowly. The best thing? Most tutorials are completely free and places like Udemy or Skillshare offer high quality courses at affordable prices. Whatever you want to do, I guarantee you someone has made a tutorial on it. Harness the power of the internet. Leverage your social environment. There is only one thing more painful than defeat. Someone witnessing you fail. Getting rejected when trying to kiss someone is one thing. But having people watch and laugh adds insult to injury. This is why getting an accountability partner is so powerful. You don't want to lose face in front of them, so you work extra hard. If you are both on the same pursuit, you can push each other to new heights. Motivation doubles when shared. My roommate has been working on his doctoral thesis for ages. The last chapters have been a long, weary fight. Until he partnered with a friend with a similar fate and they both committed to getting the work done. It's amazing how much a little mutual motivation and fear of losing your face can accomplish. Humans are social animals, so use that to your advantage. It's not about the win, but about who you become. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but an habit. Aristoteles. Your identity is based on your daily behaviors. If you work out, sleep well and eat healthy every day, you see yourself as an athletic person. If you read, listen to podcasts and challenge your assumptions, you view yourself as someone smart and educated. Likewise, if you keep at new things until you back your first win, you see yourself as someone capable of achievement. That is the real power of the one win rule. When you get used to achieving your goals, you turn into a different person. Your identity changes and becomes a source of unwavering confidence. You transform yourself from someone who gives up to someone who makes it happen. When you try something new, do whatever it takes. Use the Goldilocks rule, harness the power of the internet and get someone to hold you accountable. But book that first win. Take care of yourself, we'll see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I hope this video helps you to achieve a smarter living.